So is, is it better to start sports with a high risk of concussion like mixed martial arts, boxing, et cetera, after the brain has fully developed? Does it matter? Great question from YouTube. So here's the deal. Anytime you're looking at something that could potentially injure your brain, I wouldn't count that as like an awesome thing. So whether you're doing that as your brain is developing or once it's fully developed, either way, it's probably not the best thing for your brain. But also, if you were to only make decisions based on like whether or not you might get hurt, you might spend a lot of your time sitting on the couch watching TV. So there becomes this risk reward component and to what it brings in adding quality to your life to be able to participate in things that may also come with injury, even just riding in the car, right? It adds a huge component to our ability to be free and have travel, but it also comes with some degree of risk. So um, I come from a background of playing contact sports, some of the great experiences in my life, but I've also had the privilege of helping people that have had significant injuries because of contact sports as well. So I won't say that they're either all good or all bad. It's a very personal decision. Um, but what I will say is that going into it, knowing what your risk factors are, helps you to make a more intelligent decision about how much you want to play, if you love it, or if it's just like something you're doing for fun and it's not that great, maybe you don't take the risk. But personal decision for everyone, I can't make it for you. But taking into account the probability of risk might be useful in, in how you proceed with that. So parents, I don't envy that. I have the same thing at home, but you're just trying to, to give your kids the best life you can. We all understand that. Good luck.